This can't be happening. Fraternity Row was supposed to be forever. Now it's not just gonna be there anymore. Oh, it's okay. You'll adjust. I mean, after all, it's just a TV show. It is not just a TV show. It was not just a TV show when Lorraine and Durwood went back in time and they filled in for Paul Revere. And it was not just a TV show when Bro and Maura wore mosquito for a tidal wave to get to their wedding. And now it's not just a TV show. It's family. My mom, Stella, she passed it down to me. And I passed it down to Natty and Rex. And you betcha that Rex is passing it down to Shane. <laughs> everything, everything Stacy's been up to since she showed up alive. Start talking. Don't worry, I'll talk. I'll talk your pretty little ear off after you get me the hell out of here. I'm working. Aubrey is in Landview right now, getting the photo that'll prove Cutter set you up to take the ball for him. Peachy. And as soon as she gets it, I will point you in Stacy's direction. And how exactly are you going to do that? You said you didn't know where she was. No, but I know my girl Stacy, so wherever she is, I'll find her. I have been to this place. You're saying you've been to the Bonjour Cafe? I must have. No, look, it's like I said, it, it just feels familiar because it's so much like the Buenos Dias in Landview. This is, I mean, it's a Cutter, lot. I know what you said, but it's more than that. I have been here at the Bonjour in Paris, Texas. Are you saying you got your memory back? How long do you think it'll take your little blonde friend to deliver the goods? If Rama has the original photo, Aubrey will get her hands on it. Well, I'm sure her hands look much better than mine do right now. As soon as I climb my way out of this pit, I'm gonna treat myself to a nice little manicure. And I'm gonna carve my name into Clint Buchanan's face for letting me rot in here. Hey, I wouldn't start making plans just yet, okay? Rama could have deleted the photo. Are you kidding? Like she would ever give up any ammo she has on Cutter. That picture is worth way more than a thousand words. Why would Rama turn on Cutter? Oh, don't let her pretty face fool you. That girl is an animal. She'd rip your beating heart right out of your chest. <laughs> oh, Roxy, I'm so sorry. I had no idea how much this TV show meant to you. But you know, back in India, we have a saying. What's the use of crying when the birds have eaten up the whole farm? Uh, what I mean is, you know, the show is cancelled. It's cancelled. What's the point in crying? It's not going to bring the show back. But, but you know what? I can fix you a drink. That may hit the spot. Can I fix you a deli belly? No, hell no. I got to keep my head very clear right now. And you are right. There's no use in crying. Just because some empty suit thinks that fraternity row is for the birds. And I got to go fix it. I think you misunderstood my analogy. No, I think you were very clear. I gotta go. But you have four appointments this afternoon. Now we'll reschedule. I got a show to save. There's no revenge on Clint until we find Stacy. So that I can rip Gigi's face right off of her. You think I'm gonna tell you where she is so you can hurt her? I'm not letting her walk around like that. I'll take her to the surgeon's office at gunpoint if I have to. I don't want you traumatizing her. Do, what about what Stacy's done to me? She'll be lucky I don't kill her. I watched my fiance die, okay? Stacy had no problem pretending that Gigi had come back to life, letting Cutter use that to get the money. Do you know how sick that is? Stacy has some problems. Stacy's a freak! That freak is my best friend! Really, if you cared about her, why don't you stop her from getting a new face? I tried. It was too late. What are, what are you saying? You weren't in on this from the start? No, jackass. I thought the same thing you thought. That Stacy drowned when she fell through the ice. I didn't know she survived until she walked into this body for me, looking exactly like Gigi. For you, Rex. And why someone would go through all that for someone like you? Well, that's something I'll never understand. Not in a million years. Oh, thank God you're here. Aubrey? Oh, what are you doing here? I thought you were in Brazil. We had to come home. It's urgent. Are you all right? I will be, but only if you'll help me. How can I help you? I need you to catch Stacy Morasco. Okay, you know you've been here because you remember something? What do you remember? Where they keep the ketchup. What was that? When I needed ketchup just now, I went right behind the counter, and I knew exactly where it was. So, because you found a bottle of ketchup, 
You are sure that you've been to the Bonjour Cafe in Paris, Texas? Oh, it's not just the ketchup, okay? The phone rang, and without even thinking, I picked it up and I said, Bonjour from the Bonjour Cafe, Pride of Paris, Texas. How can I help you? Why did I do that? How did I know to use those exact words? Because you can read? I'm telling you, it's more than that. Every fiber of my being tells me I'm connected to this place. Okay, so how are we going to find out if that's true? Miss, excuse me. Can I ask you something? Sure, honey. Want to hear the specials? Oh, no, no, no. I just want to know. Do I look familiar to you? Oh, my God. It's you. <laughs> Marasco. I've never even heard of this disease. She's not a disease. She's a person, and I need you to help me find her. How can I possibly help you find her when I don't even know who she is? You may not, but Kim Andrews does. Kim Andrews? Right. The original Aubrey Wentworth. You know her. The one you framed for murder and sent to prison. So you had nothing to do with Stacy's little makeover? Do you seriously think I go along with something that psycho? Wouldn't be the first time. Okay, so I let her talk me into some stuff that was a little... Stupid, disgusting, criminal. Maybe I'm smarter than I used to be, okay? And Stacey had to know I'd try and talk her out of getting that surgery because she didn't tell me. She didn't want me or anyone else getting in the middle of her happily ever after with the man of her dreams. Did Stacey actually think that I would fall for her just because she looked like Gigi? No. She thought you'd fall for her because you'd think she was Gigi. Wait, her plan was to take Gigi's place. So what was supposed to happen to Gigi? You know me. So you're that girl. What, what girl? girl? The one from the TV show, the show, uh, the TV show. What, what show? show? Uh, that reality show with, with the glamorous people and the hair and you know, the problems. I think what we've got here is a failure to communicate. I, I thought maybe you knew me from here at the Bonjour. Stacy Marasco? It does run a bell. But you know, I haven't been working here that long. You should ask the owners. Oh, I'd love to. Are they around? Not right now, but they're coming back for the big pie off. <laughs> Go. I don't know what you heard about Kim Andrews. Save it, but I'm, I know the whole story. Cutter roofied some guy in Kentucky, and instead of just passing out, he dropped dead. Then you took a picture of Cutter with the body. Ring any bells? Listen, you don't understand. Okay? I understand that you and Cutter then edited him out of the picture and stuck Kim in to make it look like she was the killer. Then you tipped off the police, which is why she's now wearing a prison uniform instead of her usual G-string. Where did you hear all this? Where do you think? If you're going to believe someone like Kim Andrews, why then you shouldn't... Why wouldn't I believe her? You've never exactly kept your feelings secret. You've never forgiven her for stealing all of your money. So if you couldn't send her to jail for that, here is your chance to send her to jail for something else, right? I'll take that as a yes. Tell me why is Kim Andrews so important to you? She's not. But Rex is. I don't know what Stacy was planning to do to get Gigi out of the way. She never said, but I made up my mind. I wasn't going to let anything terrible happen. Because you stopped her from doing whatever it was she was going to do. No. Well, not exactly. By the time I figured out what Stacy was up to, she was already on her way to Landview. Yeah, when was this? The day you and Gigi were supposed to get married? Yeah, except that never happened. Because Gigi... Yeah. Was trapped in that basement. But what you don't know is Stacy was there too. I think you probably just had a little deja vu, like I did before. You know, where you think that you've done something before or been somewhere, but you really haven't? Yeah, maybe. So, now that that's all cleared up, we gotta get us a room at the Bon Suites and figure out how we're gonna pay for it. Told you, we can find jobs. Right, with uh, no references, no connections. Stop worrying, I have a good feeling about this place. Did I hear you saying you're looking for jobs? Yes, why? Just so happens we're hiring. Nigel, you should know better. Yeah, I've been doing double shifts for a week now because we lost one of our servers, and then this morning the dishwasher doesn't show up. Oh, so you need a waitress and a dishwasher. Any experience? Give me an Adam and Eve on a raft, hold the axle grease. What, what did she just say? She just asked for poached eggs on toast, no butter. I see you know your way around a diner. <laughs> yeah. I guess I do. <laughs> 
are you saying? That Stacy was there when Gigi died? I can't give you a minute by minute rundown, but here's what I saw. I tracked Stacy to an abandoned house, and when I got there, I found her. She was passed out. I got my girl to wake up for like a second, but then she just passed out again. So I start dragging Stacy to my car, and then that's when I saw you. You saw me? Your car pulled up, and then you ran inside like a bat out of hell, and I figured if Gigi was in there, you'd make sure she was okay. So I took off with Stacy. I, I don't believe this. And then I, I finally got her to a hospital in Kentucky so I could keep a close eye on her. Doctors said it didn't look good, but I didn't give up. I went and saw her every single day, Rex. I begged her to open her eyes, but she just lay there, not moving a muscle in that bed. And that's how she stayed until you came here and told me different, you and your new girlfriend. I knew it. This was all about trying to win Rex's heart. No, Rex is not ready to give his heart to anyone, I told you that. Just because we shared some random kiss doesn't mean anything's gonna come of it. He kissed you? I kissed him, which was not a good idea. Why not? Because he's still in love with Gigi. But she's dead. dead. So? If he's not ready, he's not ready. So we're just friends. Okay. But how does this Kim Andrews fit into this whole thing? Oh, because she has some vital information about this scam that Gigi's sister is trying to pull on Rex. And Gigi's sister being this Stacy Morasco character. Right. And Kim won't share the information unless we get her out of prison. Which is why you need my help. Right. You have access to that original photo, which proves Kim innocent. I need that picture, Rama. Please. How can you call someone like Kim innocent? She's done terrible things, okay? Stealing from me was only one on the long list. Yes, it was, but she did not murder anyone, Rama. She shouldn't be put away for life. I owe her nothing. But you owe me, don't you? When Vimal threw you out, I let you stay with me. Just for a couple of days. It was at least a week. Six days tops. All right, fine. Next time your husband catches you making Google eyes at Landview's best arms, don't expect me to stick up for you. Wait. Why, are you gonna come through for me? Stacy was there. She could have saved Gigi, but she let her own sister die because... Stacy got hurt too. No, look, if, if she had the strength to crawl out of that basement, she could have done something. She's just responsible for Gigi's death as Jack Manning is. You don't know that. Look, neither of us know what happened that night. Well, we'll find out soon enough. Stacy's gonna tell us. Well, nobody's gonna tell anybody anything, not until I get out of here. Well, start packing your bags. Look what I've resent. Oh, my God. Oh my... I'm free. I'm free. Watch out, Stacey. I'm coming for you. I don't know how you did it, Aubrey, but you're amazing. What happens now? Uh, well, I go to the police. I show them the photo. With any luck, Kim gets released. I'll call you as soon as we're back in Landview. Okay, travel safe. Yeah, and, Aubrey, what you did for me, I will never be able to thank you enough. You don't have to thank me. You're a really great friend. I'm lucky to have you in my life. I'm glad you're in my life, too. Except he's not in your life the way you want him to be. It's enough for now. Well, it will have to be, because soon, Cutter will officially be off the market. What do you mean? Aubrey, are you really not thinking what will happen when you hand over the evidence to clear him? You're sending Cutter to jail in her place. How's it going? Never been better. Stacy, how's it fit? Like a glove. Seriously, it's like it's made for me. Perfect. Now all you need is a new name tag. We're having a hard time recycling these old ones. Time's up. Didn't you hear? He's getting me sprung. That's what they all say. No, except this time it's true. I'll see you soon. When I do, you've only got one job. Finding Stacy. I'm teaching Clint Buchanan a lesson he'll never forget. Watch out, cowboy. Here I come. <laughs>